can't find my way back to you Until you make amends with the demons you've been through And I can't regret leaving you alone Until you find your way back home Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided to do this everyday makeup routine for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys have highly requested seeing this. Um, I did take a poll on Instagram and it was between mermaid vibes and everyday look. And you guys were so close. So I figured since everyone has been asking for everyday look, I do this first and my next video will be the mermaid vibes for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you guys requested that I did a everyday makeup routine. So I'm going to walk you guys through step by step of how I do my everyday makeup routine. Some of it is altered. Um, usually I don't wear lashes if I'm going to work, but if I'm going out and I want to have like a regular dewy look, I will put on lashes. So I'm going to put on lashes for you guys today just in case you guys want to try this out. Um, and I also have some drugstore products to compare to high-end if you can't or don't have the money right now to get high-end products. I did put in a couple drugstore products that you can use as alternatives so you guys can try it out that way. Um, and I switch it up myself. If I'm going to work, I usually use my drugstore products and I save my good good stuff for when I go out just because it is a lot pricier. So if you guys want to see how I'm going to achieve this everyday makeup routine then just keep watching. Okay so first things first I already went in um, I've been using Rodan and Fields so I went in with their step 4 oil control lotion and I really love this part of the line because I have very oily skin and I feel like since I've been using this my foundation and everything else just stays on so much more matte. I feel like before I started using this I was using a couple of different moisturizers and I liked them. I mean there wasn't anything wrong with them but I still got really oily and I feel like this is hands down like holy grail like I will need this forever because my foundation doesn't slide. It kind of helps give my skin the moisture it needs but without overdoing it. Um, so I love this. So I went in with this first and then I already applied this. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put on concealer. Um, I like to go in with my Maybelline New York. This is in the color two, which is sand. I just put this really all over. So your girl's been tired. So we're just going to put this under her eyes. And then like wherever I'm having blemishes, my blemishes are not nearly as bad as they used to be. If you guys watch my vlog, then you know I was like really bad with cystic acne. So like I kind of have a little bit of scarring on my chin. So I kind of just go over like the whole chin area. And I have like a couple pimples coming in, but your girl will take what she is getting because it used to be bad. The struggle was real. So I'm going to go in with a beauty blender or... A dupe for a beauty blender this is from physicians formula and I really like it because it has well you can't tell right now but it has like a flat side to it so I like to use that to just blend everything in So I kind of just put this in areas where I'm more red um, and this is more of like a yellow undertone which I don't really mind because I'm going to put foundation on over it anyway. So now if I'm just doing like a normal eye look I usually put foundation on first so that's what we're going to do today since this is an everyday makeup look. Um, but if I go for like my more dramatic looks you guys can see in my other videos that I usually do my eyes first just because you don't want to have that excess fallout all over your face and then you have to go back in and redo your whole makeup look. So we're going to go in with the new Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Foundation and I have it in matte and this stuff is bomb. There's only two foundations that I can say I was pleasantly surprised 
and it's gonna be the Tarte, which is, this is like my holy grail now, like I probably will use this for everything all, on the weekends when I go away on vacation. Um, I did use last year the Marc Jacobs, which that is my other holy grail, so it's really just these two, just because I do have oily skin, and my Marc Jacobs, I took that to Thailand with me, that stuck through everything like we were out doing things all day and my foundation did not slip it did not slide it stayed in place it was matte and it went a long way a little dot went a long way so if you guys want to get a really good high-end drugstore foundation either get the tarp tape shape they have this in more they have it in for like matte which is for me because i have oily skin and then they also have it for girls who have girls and guys who have like more dry skin I guess you could say which I wish that was me but it's not so I'm gonna go in with this and it kind of I've never had their concealer but everybody says it's like the same way it's just like a giant concealer so I know you're not supposed to put it directly on your face but that is what your girl is gonna do and this is like so beautiful to blend so I'm just gonna put some here then I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to do one side first and then the other side just because it does kind of dry fast. Look how good that looks. It just mattifies right away. So... Do that side first. That's it on the face. I look super pale right now, but that's because I am. So I'm going to bring it down on my neck. Gus like scratched me right here, so I want to cover that up too. But I feel like if you haven't self-tanned or if you feel like your face doesn't match the rest of your body, whatever you are wearing that day, bring it down. Bring it down and blend it. So now, before we do eyebrows, I like to go in and conceal, well, highlight basically under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Light 2, which is vanilla. And I really like this. I'll probably go buy the Tarte Tape Shape just because I'm loving the foundation. But I really like the formula of this too, just because it's like very creamy. And it's not too much. Like if you want an everyday look, I feel like... You don't want your highlight to be like super popped out. Like you kind of want it to be more of like a bronzy. Well, what I'm going for is like a bronzy everyday glow. So I don't want it to look too crazy like a night out. So I really like this for that. I want to tell you guys, if you don't have the NARS concealer, what I usually use day to day when I go to work as like my drugstore is the NYX. You guys probably see that in all of my videos. Um, but it's the NYX HD concealer and I've been using that since probably college when I would watch YouTube videos. Um, let me show you. NYX HD concealer. And I usually use it in like number two. Yes, yeah, number two to highlight because I am pale. Um, so if you guys want to get that instead, that has a really good consistency as well. We're going to bake. So I also have two alternatives for baking, just because if you do want to try the drugstore one, I have that one for you guys too. So what I love, what I've been using for years is the Laura Mercier. This is in translucent. Um, I think they have a different color. I forget what it is, but I get the translucent all the time. I like to use to bake this. That's what I'll use today. Um, but if you're on a budget, I would go to the only place I found this is Walgreens and this is the airspun loose powder This has to be under ten dollars um, And it just comes in this 
looks like that and I think it works just as good just make sure you're moisturized because again you can have cakey under eyes if you don't moisturize and I found that using either one you can get cakey so you just have to take precaution take care of your skin um, and your makeup will look good so I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier today and I'm just gonna set it with a sponge <laughs> like a pale hot mess i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna use just like a little mirror and i'm gonna go in first i've been switching it up with my eyebrows so first i'm gonna go in with the anastasia dip brow pomade that's what it looks like and it's kind of exactly like a pomade so i have it in soft brown which i feel like looks good for my color so i'm gonna just take a little bit of the brow product and I like to put it on the back of my hand and kind of work with it off of that so I'll still leave it open to go back in but I like to use a little bit and then kind of like shape out my eyebrows you guys seen how I do my eyebrows in like every video so my eyebrows are really hairy right now I have to get them waxed this week so I like to just brush them up and then just dip a little bit on my hand just so you don't get so much where like I was making the mistake of taking so much out of just the jar and just putting it straight on my eyebrows and I looked scary I was like oh no this is not cute I knew it wasn't cute at the time but I was like how am I gonna redo my makeup so I've learned through error and trial if that's a thing that I need to do it this way so brush it up and then I like to start underneath and kind of shape them out that way. And I do make them a little bit, I was making them super long and that was not cute. So I've been just making them a little bit longer than what they usually are. I'm not going crazy because I'm trying to be a little bit more natural with it I went through a hardcore eyebrow phase for a little bit so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just start like brushing it up and bringing it up to the top of my eyebrow like so and let me bring you guys in so don't be afraid to like go back in and like blend and you see how I didn't start like all the way from the front because you want that to be more of like a faded look so I just really focus on like the outer part of the eyebrow and then I wait the inner part of the eyebrow where I sh shaped it what the hell Vic okay and then I start to go up and kind of like start making the eyebrow and like defining it more and I used to overdraw them a lot now I'm like realizing I really just like the shape of my eyebrow like I feel like my esthetician who I work with like just like gave me life with redoing my eyebrows like that is my girl she knows what she's doing so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of just blend and blend until I like feel like I like the shading. Like take your time. You don't have to like rush unless you are rushing, but if you're at home just playing, like take your time, like eat, feel it out, like feel like what you think looks good for your eyebrows. So now I'm going to go in just with like a little bit of excess on my brush and just kind of draw the line underneath of the eyebrow here and then kind of just do strokes going up to give you like that natural shading look and this will look so much better if my eyebrows were done but what are you gonna do and just keep going back in oh my gosh she snores so loud I'll wake up in the middle of the night and if I don't hear him snoring, like me and Jordan freak out. We like, I'll get up and check. 
Okay. So that looks good. So now with now that I've used the pomade, I'm gonna go in and I like to just clean my brush in between. I have a cleaning spray. So I just go in, clean the brush really quick of all the pomade because you don't want to be blending that in the front of your eyebrow. So that's pretty much clean. So now I'm gonna go in with Soft Brown as well in the Brow Duo by Anastasia. I've been using this for years as well. You just find like new ways to use it. So, oh my gosh, I forgot how pale my lips were. So I'm gonna go in with the dark shade over here and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush tap it and then I also just use this to darken up the outer corner or the outer eyebrow and just bring it down a little bit with the rest of it okay. clean again and then I go in just a, with a little tiny bit from the light shade tiny tiny bit and just kind of blend where you see any harsh lines between like the front and the rest of the eyebrow just because you don't want to look cray cray you know like so so now I'm gonna do the other eyebrow so now that our eyebrows are on we're not done with them yet but I like to set my face with powder and all that good stuff first so I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe fluffy brush from a while ago Ooh. and I'm gonna go in with the fit me by Maybelline um, this is in the 120 classic ivory to go in while I'm still baking and kind of just pat this in I've learned over ooh, over time it's better to pat it than to rub because when you're rubbing it you're kind of just smearing everything around it's not set yet so Laura Mercier that was setting underneath and on my nose I kind of just pat that in as well just so you still get the look of that highlight For my eyeshadow, I want to use more of like warm colors, like everyday warm colors. So I really switch it up honestly depending on what's like in front of me at my vanity that day. So I've been grabbing the Morphe. This is like their newer palette. This is the Nightmaster 15N. And this is really pretty. It has like really warm colors. I feel like this is just a really good go-to palette. So I'm going to use this. I'm only going to use like two shades out of it honestly, two or three shades. So first I need to clean up my eyebrows though before I do that, which I just remembered. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX concealer. If I even have any left, which I don't, what's new? All right, we'll go in with the NARS. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS concealer that I used to highlight my face. And I'm just gonna use that to clean up my brow bone. You guys probably always see this as well, but I never really did a talk through for it. So I'm just going to use a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to go in with a Morphe Y21 if any of you guys have this brush set and I just like to clean up underneath of my eyebrow with it. Set it with that Morphe palette 
I have one color. It's a little bit darker, but I don't care. It's called Custom. It's the first one. I'm just going to use the Anastasia brush just to kind of pat it in a little bit. I'm going to go in with Opal, which is this third one in the middle. Oh, right there. I'm going to go in with that one, and I'm just going to basically put that in my crease and kind of all over my lid you don't really have to have a rhyme or reason just because it's i'm really only putting two shadows on just to give my eyes some color so i'm just gonna blend this in i'm gonna go in with vava hmm, do i want to do vava boom no i'm gonna do goals which is the one underneath right here I'm going to use the same brush and I'm literally just going to put it on my lid. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my brow bone with Geyser from the Masquerade Mini by the Juvia's Palettes, which if you don't have, go and get it. So it's just this really pretty light one right here. So I'm just going to use the back of another double Anastasia brush and just kind of put that on the top. <laughs> this to set my brows i kind of feel like it gives it more of a natural finish kind of like a like you can see your hair fibers better if that's a good way to describe it so it's just like a little bristle like if you were using mascara and just make sure you don't get a lot on there because your eyebrows can look Alright, Craig. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on before I put my lashes on just a tiny bit on the top so these are the wispies these are by Ardell um, I am trying to branch out and experiment a little bit so if you guys know any other lashes that are really good please let me know I like more wispy full effect lashes so we're going to put these on and the glue I am using is, they always come with glue. I decided to, well, I just dropped that, to use the Duo Brush On Adhesive, which they have this and then they have another one that squeezes, either or good, depending on what you have, just use it. Um, so I'm just going to use this. I use squeezers to put them on. It's a lot easier. You're able to get closer to your lash line. That's just my preference. So... If you've never used lashes before and you buy a pack and you don't know which one goes where, this side goes here, that side goes there.
so now we're going to contour i have another alternative for you guys if you guys don't want to get high end i do have well i always use either the anastasia contour kit in light to medium which this has been through hell and then I also have my Lorac Pro, which has been out for a while. Um, and then if you don't want to really put out the money for that, which I totally understand because it took me forever to, you can get the NYX Highlight and Pro palette, which you can get at like CVS, drugstores, stuff like that. It has really good tones, really good shades. You can either use this for like setting too, if you want to use that for setting, or if you want to use that for baking, you can do that as well. Um... But yeah, I feel like this is a little bit pricey for drugstore. So honestly, you could either get this or you could put up a couple extra dollars and get the Anastasia. It's really up to you, up to what's in your budget. But I just wanted to tell you guys about this. It is really good quality for being drugstore. So I guess that's why it's a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to go in with what I know best, which is my Anastasia contour palette. And I do have this in the cream. I like the cream, but I have to be like in the mood for it because I feel like it's just a little bit of extra work. So I'm going to go in, what I've been doing lately is using like a bigger angled brush first and just bronzing my whole face instead of doing just such a dark contour. So I kind of just go in with like this middle color and this color over here. Now I'm going to go in, still use the same palette, but I'm going to use a more defined, tinier brush. And I'm just going to go in with like the darker shades and kind of just chisel a little bit more up here. <laughs> My morphe one but i'm like i use that so much i need to like branch out and start using different stuff so this is the tart i got this for free in like a little sephora thing that they give you so this is called concept i believe and it's just the amazonian clay 12 hour blush and it just looks like that really pretty really light um i'm just gonna use a morphe brush the y5 and just <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to highlight my face. So first I want to just reset my face. I'm like ahead of myself. Let me slow my roll. So I want to just set my face. I'm going to go back in with the Laura Mercier. Well, not really set it, just kind of cut it even more than what it is. So I'm just going to go back in with this. Just lightly. You don't got to go crazy. Like What I've been using in pretty much all my videos, because I love it, it's the Glow Clip glow kit by anastasia i've been using this because i was using warm oh no i always say this soft and gentle by mac but i've used it on so many of my clients that it's basically all gone i'm gonna have to go get another one but this is a really beautiful highlighter as well it's more of like a goldy 
bronzy shimmer highlighter which i like that's what i usually go for so i'm gonna go in with summer and moonstone in this palette Put these two on this side and i'm just gonna use a morphe brush as well but i like to add my max fix plus for this just to give it that real pop <laughs> But now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to go back into my eyes. I'm going to finish up with them. So first you want to just put a little mascara. Actually, put you down. We're going to go in and we're going to highlight the inner corner, which I'm going to use a tiny little Morphe brush as well. And I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Spoon Super Shock Cheek. I think this is supposed to be a highlighter for your cheeks, but I like to use this on myself and on clients for like their inner corner of their eyes. So it's kind of like more like moussey, like it's not like very like powdery, it's like, does it say what this is? I think it's like a pressed, I don't know, I'm just making up shit. So just spray your brush using a little pencil brush and just put a little bit on there and then go in the inner corner of your eyes. I'm going to use white eyeliner for under my eyes as my waterline. And I'm not trying to mess up everything I just did, so let me grab a brush. Just hold that down. Going back in with the Morphe, going back in with the two colors I used, and just kind of mixing them together. <laughs> The one I told you about, the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, which they did a great job on. And I'm just going to blend the top of my lashes, which you honestly don't even need mascara, but I feel like when I add mascara to my wispies, so many people compliment them more. They're like, they look so natural compared to what they usually do. I like to just add mascara to them and then just add mascara on your bottom, bleh, bottom lash line. I've ever used this honestly Jordan got it for me for Christmas so I'm excited to try it this is in sweets and it's just a morphe liquid lipstick <laughs> I like to go in with my Maybelline Liquid Liqueur just because I do love it. But I actually do like this liquid lipstick. Um, wipe off your translucent powder because I have left the house and forgot that was there. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Vivid Liquid Liqueur. I don't think you guys were able to see it in my last video because the camera died. So I'm going to put it on for you guys now. This is in the color Tease. That's pretty much the look. Don't mind my hair. Don't mind my rest of my appearance. 
but I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime in this is in like the rose oh lavender they had like a little gift set in the Christmas time in the Christmas time during Christmas time where you could get this so I have a whole bunch of these thankfully but they're running out so shake it up spray it on and just set everything in place so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful I hope gave you good tips I hope you guys like me I don't know I'm just kidding if you guys want to see the mermaid look that I plan on doing next week, don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing that either Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. We'll see. I'll probably tweet it or put it on my Instagram story. So if you guys don't follow me on there, links are down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.